G'day, g'day. Welcome to Easy Jeezy, Map and Mead Breezy. I've got to be really quick today because I'm going to go harvest some eggs, some delicious uh, supper that I'm preparing. Um, but while I've got the chance, I'm going to quickly go through a, an easy way to make a map with symbols graduated by size. Okay, so bigger symbols representing one end of the variable's uh, results and smaller symbols representing the other. So let's get started. Um, what I've got here, I've got some sample points from the town of Petropolis. Okay, um, and I can first of all right click and, and go to the attribute table to have a look at all the attributes that I may want to uh, visualize on my map. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to go through, let's go through total environmental quality assessment score. Okay, so high score being better in this case. You can see all the values there for all the points. Okay, so I'll close that down. Um, got my CBD there as well, marked by a little star. But let's get straight into this visualization. So I right click on the sample points layer, go to properties. Okay, and then you've got all your options here, but I want symbology and I want to click on the single symbol and I want to change the graduated. And first thing here in this drop down, I want to choose uh, the variable that I want to uh, visualize, in this case, total EQA score. Let's click on that. Okay. How do I want to do it? Well, in this case, I'm going to do it by size. Okay. And you've got the size, the starting size, and the ending size there. So all the symbols are going to be from size 1 to size 10. I don't want an equal interval. I want a natural breaks. And that will appear there. Click apply. There you go. So you can see over here that I have all these symbols representing um, where my environmental quality is the best. So the biggest symbols representing the highest scores, which in this case was the best, uh, and the smaller symbols representing the lowest scores, where the environmental quality assessment scores were the lowest. Okay. Um, so a few things first. If you want to, as we saw before, you can just change how big the biggest value can be. So you can say maybe it's 1 to 20. Obviously, it gets very big though. Okay. Um, and if you want, for example, to say that the smaller uh, circles were the best, if you want to reverse it, maybe you're doing something on pollution and the lower scores were, were better. Um, uh, maybe you wanted to change it from 10 to 1. So you're going to reverse the order effectively. Okay. So at the moment, the smaller circles indicate better environmental quality, whereas the larger circles indicate worse environmental quality because I reverse the order. Okay. Um, uh, if you want to add more classes, you can add more classes, just clicking down the classes, go to seven, etc. You may need to just reverse the order again if you wanted to. Okay. And do one. Uh, if you want to change the color, you click on the symbol to change that. And then you can go a little drop down for color and you can choose, uh, let's say, I'm going to go for blue or I want to go for green. Or I want to basically go for any color on the spectrum there. You can go for hot pink if you like. I don't want that. Let's go back there. Ooh, okay. Um, now you can see here in this case, there's a bit of a plotting. There's some circles that are overlapping each other. So what we can do, we can uh, change our, capaci our opacity. Let's drop it down a little bit, see how that looks. I need to drop it down just a little bit more. Okay, so that can that can help there where you've got multiple points in close locations. Okay, uh, if you wanted to change the uh, the outline, click on simple marker. Hit stroke color, we want to make it, let's make it back to black. There you go. Okay. Um, you can see here in our legend, you can change the precision. Okay, this is how it's going to appear in the legend. Okay, maybe you just want one decimal place, or maybe you want none. Click trim, we'll do the same thing. Click apply, click OK. And there you have it, a map with symbols graduated by size. Hope this helps. I'll see you next time. Ciao.